A lot of what we adopt as the norm has its roots in an unquestioned culture. On the heels of sensitization about the dignity of girls and women and the sex for grade scandal, I was intrigued when the other day I was engaged by some of my male colleagues. Ekene, one of them asked, what do you make of girls or young wives who cannot cook? It wasn't a jam question, as we like to say, essentially an open book exam. Expecting me to pass judgment on the imaginary lazy and self-indulgent young ladies who want to be looked after, but don't want to bring anything to the marriage union. They were surprised when instead I said, it depended on each couple to work out what was important to them, and that a wife is more than a cook. It's not like I completely am oblivious to where they might be coming from. Food matter no be small matter, <laughs> especially when it's capable of destroying homes. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, as at 2016 anyway, in Nigeria, just 0.2% of men and 0.3% of women have sought for a divorce, and well under 1% of couples admit to being separated. However, if public opinion is anything to go by, divorce is on the rise in Nigeria. Although misplaced ideologies contribute to what one article terms rings fall apart, our culture of despotism lies at the heart of it. Despotism is at play when power wielded by the male or female gender is seen as a vehicle with which to lord it over others, not to serve or enable those others discover their capabilities. Our citizens are there to lord us with terms like your excellency and to pad our pension accounts. Hold us to account? Why, that would be treasonable felony. Our workforce are there to add value to us, never mind on paid salaries and benefits. Our children are portals of our unrealized dreams. How dare they agitate for aspirations of their own after all we've done for them? Our trophy wives are there to cook our favorite meals and make our homes and beds comfortable. For them to expect regular assistance with domestic chores, why else did we marry them? Our ATM husbands are there to ensure that we never lack for anything and to give us social respectability. Woe betide them if they become unemployed or ask for help with meeting financial commitments. Where is the partnership, shared vision, and going the extra mile? Where is the love, trust, and the laying down of our lives? Each of us needs to take a look in the mirror, have a change of heart, and make the necessary adjustments. This way, we will have happy homes, happy workplaces, and a happy society where we serve each other. This way, everybody wins. Well, does everybody win is what I want to ask you, Please ask sister, it. sister, mm. because you know what, I actually agree with you, but I guess the question we need to ask, or everybody needs to ask, is how do people view marriage in this society? Okay. I have to say, oops, another controversial, I'm divorced, and I'm not here selling divorce, but my divorce came about through domestic violence and domestic mm. abuse. And I remember when I ended the marriage in UK that a sister in church came up to me, not knowing anything about the circumstances, and very piously said to me, I lift up the cup, ah, Fala Shade, you know if you were in Nigeria, we'll give you a cup of tea and send you home. To me, that's... Send you home as in... What does that mean? Yeah. She meant that she, if we were in a, in a Nigerian context, the church would have ordered me to go back oh, to my to husband, husband and reconcile. And reconcile. Oh, okay. This was without her knowing any of the history. Now, I'm very clear, I support marriage. I think that a good marriage is the bedrock of society. But again, I ask the question, what is the function of a marriage? You know, I think one of our challenges in our tradition, our culture, well, we've talked about culture today, and there are many positives about our culture, and I love our culture. But I think one negative aspect of our culture is a sense of entitlement. And please, men, do not kill me, but I think many men feel very entitled and they see their women as second-class citizens. That's why they can beat them. That's the fallacy. And abuse. No, it is. It yeah, is not. the statement. Keep landing. It, 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 yes. it is not. not. Make it. What, it, 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 it is I, not. No, don't be distracted. Yeah, I said, keep going. I, I refuse to be distracted. No, keep going. That is why we have it. We, we, we have it. That, that wait is now, wait now. Let her continue. Continue, dear. <laughs> Even the fact that you're talking over me, sir. Ooh. Makes me feel like you as if you are not affecting me as a woman. You have brought men and women. Oh, uh, no, but the women are listening. But the women are listening, 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 listening to me. Yes. You may, you may no, please, I have to land. I, I do want her to get to the point, please, right. sir. I, th I think mm. we have a culture 
which sadly seems to deem women as second-class citizens and to be used and abused for the pleasure of men. Should women be able to cook? Well, yes. But do people see marriage as a partnership? I think that our tradition doesn't really view marriage as a partnership. It sees the man as up here and women down there that are there to just meet the needs of the man. And I'll flip it. I'm not just going to say that women are, are exonerated as well. The selfish women who just want men to bankroll their lifestyles. Yes. Yes. And at that point, okay, sir, please, please, please come in. Please come in. I like your topic. I like your topic because mm. you talked about you know, both sides. Mm. Growing yeah. up, my grandfather would plant yam. My grandmother would plant cocoa yam. So that means it was a partnership. We were taught to understand that marriage is a partnership. And even the Western borrowed culture says the man, the woman will stay on the left hand side because the man's responsibility is to protect and provide okay. with the right hand. Okay. Even our traditional belief also. Mm. But you find that that when you have no, a but she clash, should be there now so you can use the right hand to protect and provide. No, you should be on the left hand, you use that, the right hand no, to protect and provide. Your right hand will reach out now too. You, you, <laughs> know, so, so, you now find that that when you have a mix of these clashes, mm. even in village community, a man who abuses his wife those days will be brought before the palace mm, yeah. and dealt decisively with. Okay. So what were but you saying was fallacious now? That's when she's generalized Plain. that our culture. Oh, and we are okay. protecting my culture. Okay. Okay. And, and so, but these days when you have a mix of both, you borrowed from but here, you're saying you borrowed that our culture isn't here. also patriarchal? Where the woman See, you live in a patriarchal world okay. today. Okay. Today, that's you can't take away. But what we are saying is, like you ended it, you do your beats, I do my beats, mm -hmm. it will be a happy home. Yes. Just the same way, Sedu talked about, just before the program, he talked about something very unique. If the commitment we have in church, if we translate that commitment to our workplace and government and you know everything, the country will be a be very better. better place okay. to live in. Okay. So everybody, we must all do our beats. And I like the fact that you, know, you couldn't take abuse. And I don't encourage any woman to sit down in an abusive marriage. It's not compulsory. I love, I, love, I love what you said, but I'm going to quote what my ex-mother-in-law said to me. May her soul rest in peace. She said to me, Fola Shade, that you are lacking in perseverance. And quote, unquote, all men beat their wives. No. Oh, no. Can I, can I, please, let Ron come. No, no. <laughs> okay, no, say just, please, go ahead. Let me just quickly yes, say yes, something. Yes. Because, uh, Sorry, it seems uh, like We were chairman. saying something earlier, and what you just said, what hit me first is that, you know, you've taken a position, right? And it's because of the way you've interpreted it. Yeah. You remember I said earlier that nothing means anything except the meaning you, you give to it. Mm -hmm. So you have already taken a position that all men are like this. No, I have not taken that position because that, I have a lot of good men around fantastic. me. A lot of good men. Our I have not culture, taken that position. Our culture. The, in fact, when you made the presentation, the thing that came to my head was that African uh, proverb that says when you walk alone, you walk fast. If you walk together, You're you so walk bad. far, mm -hmm. right? So as a family, as a community, you'd achieve more. It starts from the family, from your marriage, extends to your family, to the community. So definitely in the past, this was how everywhere was, whatever culture it is. Good right? and bad, let's it not was, glorify I mean, yeah, too much. But we learn from mm. it. What we should do now is look at the, the setbacks there and fine tune it. Hmm? But now we've abandoned everything. We should always pick what is what makes sense in culture. There are some things that we do that don't make any sense. Thank you. And then women also need to, you know, they need to empower themselves. Parents need to empower their girls. Mm. Yeah. Because a lot of people will still send their children abroad and still want them to have the children and sit under the man. They're, not, they're just doing it for the world. They're not actually doing it to empower the girl child. So you, you have your PhD, you have everything, but then you want her to marry so that the man will bankroll her and you come for a mugo. We don't, we, we're not really telling ourselves the truth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, we're not that's telling ourselves. So they, 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 we buckle under pressure. The minute they're 20, 35, they must marry. No marriage counseling. They just marry any man because they don't want all sorts of things. Well, not any man, any man that has money. Well, yes, yeah, true, very, very true. <laughs> so we really need to make sure that what we're telling our girls, what are we telling and them? And our boys. And our, I'm particular about the girls. Okay. Because the girls, the, the girl boys. child, yeah, the boys, they have their own. But me, today, I want to talk about the girls, the girl child, because I have a girl. I have a daughter and I know what I tell her. I know her, the things that I tell her. You must be able to empower that girl so that she's not going to grow up to depend on a man. 
she must be able to do stuff for herself, not waiting for a man to bankroll her, which is the case we have <laughs> everywhere today. Well, you can see that's a spicy one, and maybe we should be doing a part two on it. True change begins with a change of heart. Ronke will be similarly endeavoring to inspire a change in us after the break. <laughs>